Hi, Pira. Hi, Namaste, everyone. Uh, welcome to Hindi University. Uh, really excited to have all of you this Sunday. Um, as you know, my name is Ashutosh, and we meet every Sunday, 8 a.m. U.S. Pacific time, which is time on the, the west coast of the U.S. Uh, today is also the day where we are sort of like, you know, falling one hour back. Okay, so the class may be an hour late for some of you, but the time is still 8 a.m. you know US specific okay so I, I highly recommend you uh, you know to check the, the time again due to the the annually we, we the, the time changed twice a year uh, in the US as well as in many parts of the world so um, hope you don't miss that okay uh, with that being said uh, you know for those of you who are completely new to Hindi University you can learn more about us by going to our YouTube channel which is youtube.com slash Hindi University and you can find all the, the prior videos and if you're interested in joining the, the live Sunday classes that we have you can get all the details on this page which is tiny.cc slash Hindi University uh, here you can get all the details that we have whether it is about the books that we've been following the changes in the time okay similarly uh, the the videos the link to the videos a lot of time it's very hard to search for the YouTube videos now we have over 600 videos so the indexing is a little bit hard but here uh, you know there's one sheet where you can systematically see all the videos there okay uh, similarly in addition to the Sunday classes we have about over 10 practice sessions now throughout the week so based on your level you're welcome to to join the the Hindi practice sessions which happens you know at different time zone which you can find here in the HU schedule page okay um, what else what else? other than that like there are many ways to connect with Hindi University and everything you can find it here okay so with that being said um, this year you know the plan was to do uh, a blended curriculum so we can take the complete beginners as well as the intermediate advanced students together um, and uh, right now we are following um, two books together one is Pingu learns Hindi and the second one is, uh, you know, uh, Elementary Hindi by Richard DeLacy and Sudha Joshi. Uh, Richard DeLacy is a Hindi professor at the Harvard University. And we're going, going through that book systematically. And today we'll be starting with chapter 15 of Elementary Hindi book. Okay. Uh, the focus for today's class is going over two important concepts, Kuch and Koi. Okay. Um, so most of you are or some of you are already familiar with these my goal would be to to take it further we'll start from the basics and we'll incrementally sort of build these sentences okay um very important concept so you know throughout the class if you guys have any questions feel free to to unmute and ask okay um so let's get started uh koi and kuch okay so these are both of them are uh, important grammatical concepts and they are used, you know, you have koi and kuch. There are two important use cases. They both can be used as indefinite pronoun as well as adjective. Both of them. So first we'll go over how they can be used as indefinite pronoun and then second we will go over how they can be used as an adjective okay so let's start with indefinite pronoun okay this is your case number one now the the word may sound intimidating but if you break it down as it implies indefinite pronoun something that is not defined okay um examples could be like typically we say if you are referring to a person with their name you can be like John okay or you can say Stacy okay or you can use he she it they you know uh, different kind of pronouns but if something is not defined you know you can refer them as singular would be anyone okay anyone or you can refer to, the, to someone as someone okay anyone someone and the you know if there is no one you will refer to them as no one right um, and then similarly you have everybody everybody or everyone okay so essentially indefinite pronouns are pronouns that do not refer to sort of any specific person thing amount okay so they do not refer to any 
पर्सन प्लेस थिंग और अमाउंट ओके सो यू कैन सी गुड एग्जाम्पल्स हेयर सिमिलरली इफ यू टॉकिंग अबाउट प्लूरल यू नो इट्स बेसिकली सम मैनी ओके फ्यू ओके दोज आर ऑल्सो एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ यूर इन डेफिनेट प्रोनाउंस ओके now how do we use them in english we just described them but how do we use them in hindi okay and for that you would use basically uh, koi and kuch okay that's where we 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 summarize from from the grammar perspective okay when you want to refer to any indefinite indefinite person um, you know or place or a thing you know you would use koi and kuch so let me erase it let me start with a very simple example so that we can make the case further so let's start with even within case 1 you start with your koi koi okay so let's say you want to say john is there okay john is there okay how would you say that in hindi very simple sentence i think most of you should be able to get it Ah, uh, Sunita ji, you want to unmute yourself? How would you say John is there? John waha hai. Very good, right? John waha hai. Okay, John waha hai. Waha is there. Similarly, if you were to say Stacy, you would say Stacy waha hai. Stacy waha hai. Now, let's say you don't have this thing, and you want to say there is. there is someone or someone is there okay or someone someone is there kind of like a horror movie right there is someone um jackie ji how would you say that there is someone uh can we wahan hai very good right very good right so you said we already know wahan is there hai is is okay the only variable now is you don't have the person defined here we just said someone how do we say that right so you as jackie ji mentioned you will say waha koi hai okay and how you're saying it you know with the the tone of your voice could indicate whether it is a curiosity question or you know it's a part of a horror movie okay that you're watching on on, on television okay waha koi hai okay um same thing if somebody is going to respond in that movie like there is no one okay how would they respond in sk there is no one person a saying waha koi hai sorry i was on mute uh, okay. uh it would be uh would it be koi va uh, koi no waha koi nahi hai right so initially it was waha koi hai now the response is no one is there so waha कोई नहीं है ओके वहां कोई नहीं है सो देर इज नो वन दैट्स ऑल्सो इनडेफिनेट ओके इनडेफिनेट राइट वहां कोई नहीं है ओके आई होप इट इट मेक्स सेंस राइट सो फार इट्स इजी नाउ लेट्स टेक इट फर्दर इन इन केस इफ इट इज हार्ड फॉर एनी वन यू प्लीज लेट मी नो एंड वी ट्राई टू माई गोल इज टू ट्राई आउट एज मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स एज पॉसिबल ओके फ्रॉम सिंपल टू हार्ड okay now we keep you know going further okay and let's say you want to say um someone is standing or someone is outside the door someone is outside the door i want all of you to try it out and write it in the zoom chat um you know and if you're watching on facebook you can type it there as well there is someone outside the door so now instead of a simple example we are trying to you know use some post position um compound post position along with in the sentence okay so i want all of you to try it out someone is outside the door okay so glad teresa ji you are still joining even though it's 12 am okay very good nandini ji okay Donna ji how are you doing you want to try one this one out someone is outside the door 
Okay. Um, Koi Dorvaza Kevaharhe. So, what is door? Door, Dorvaza. Okay. And then after that, what do you have? Uh, Kebaharhe. Okay. Kebahar. And then you said he. Okay. And because it's Dorvaza and there's a post position after that, what happens here? Oh, uh, let's see. It should be the Raze. So you will say Koi Darwaze Ke Bahar Hai. Very good, right? So just like in the previous example where there was no compound post position, now you had the compound post position Ke Bahar. And because of that, your Darwaza, which is a door, it becomes an oblique case. And if it was already a plural, which was like someone is outside the doors, koi, you know, how would you say? Uh, Dervazon. Okay. So if it was a plural, the oblique would be Dervazon. Koi Dervazon ke bahar hai. Okay. Every, everything makes sense. Robin ji, how are you doing? I know you're joining probably for the first time. Give me a thumbs up if everything is okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, wonderful. Okay, um, we keep going further. Now we will use it the same thing, but in a tense. Okay, let's say Robin G, you are throwing a party. Okay, um, I'm just making it up. Okay, you're throwing a party. You invited, you know, last minute to a bunch of people. Okay, and you're upset that nobody responded, and you are like, so far, no one is coming. Okay, you're saying you want to say no one is coming. Okay, how would you say that in Hindi? No one is coming. Uh, koi jate nahi hai. Okay. No, <laughs> I don't know. I, I've got it's coming. Um, jata is start jata going? Okay, start with he is coming. How would you say that? He is coming. Okay, to come is Anna. I know you probably joined for the first time, so I don't want to <laughs> you know, unnecessarily put you on spot, but he is coming is Anna, right? And it's present continuous. Are you familiar with somewhat Hindi or first time? Thoda, thoda. Thoda, thoda? Okay. Yeah. Right. So he is um uh -huh, or wo, uh, is, yes? Yeah. Um aha hai. So you will say wo a raha hai. Ah. Yes, because it's continuous, you remove the na and you put raha, rahi, or rahe based on the pronoun. Okay. Right? So that's why you said vah or wo a raha hai. If it is a female, wo a rahi hai. Okay? Okay, if it is a negative sentence, he is not coming would be wo nahi a raha hai. For a girl, wo nahi a rahi hai. Okay, in both cases, you have a pronoun which is defined, but let's say if it is not defined, how so will you be, change? Would it be koi raha nahi hai or would it be koi nahi raha hai? Koi nahi, use the, 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 the verb conjugation properly. The verb is ana. Koi, 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 uh, nahi, ah, uh, If it is a girl, koi nahi aa rahi hai, or koi nahi aa raha hai. Okay, awesome, very good, right? Koi nahi aa raha hai. No one is coming, is, um, koi nahi aa raha hai. Any questions, anyone? Okay, so far so good, okay? Even if it is challenging, hang in there. I think by the end of multiple exercises, you guys should should be good. You know, it should it should sort of like you know fit in there. Is the placement always with the koi rather than before the verb, like it usually is? The of nahi, sorry, placement of nahi. So usually we have it before the verb, but with koi, it's always after koi. 
या सो दिन से कोई नहीं आ रहा है वर्सेस कैन आई से कोई आ नहीं रहा है इज दैट करेक्ट इज दैट वॉट यूर आस्किंग Yeah, yeah, it's, that's exactly. I was wondering if that was. So uh, I was actually koi ah uh, raha uh, nahi hai. <laughs> I was making it even crazier. So you both are correct. Okay, both are correct, right? It, there's no, there's no sort of like you know, from grammar grammar perspective. I know in in when you're making affirmative sentence, typically you know, or even negative sentence, typically you put nahi I think before the the verb here, but like. You will hear Hindi speakers using both of them. कोई नहीं आ रहा है वर्सेस कोई आ नहीं रहा है. Okay. I won't worry too much about about that per se. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Similarly, now that we are talking about the verbs, is still in case one. Let's say the situation is, um, you want to say no one lives here. Again, like sounds like a line from a horror movie. Like it is a empty house huge house and then you know there's a narrative going on right no one lives here delia ji uh, how how would you say that hopefully it'll be easier easy for you koi nahi yahan rehta hai or similarly you can say yahan yahan koi nahi rehta hai okay yahan koi nahi rehta hai no one koi to live as most of you probably know to live is rehna rehna but because it's written in present present indefinite you remove the na and you put ta okay if it is not defined you generally lean towards masculine singular that's why you put ta here so koi nahi and then because no one there is a You know, nahi, and then here is yaha. Okay, no one lives here. Yaha koi nahi rehta hai. Okay, yaha koi nahi rehta hai. Now, if you notice, so far we've not gone to kuch. So far we are talking about koi, and then we'll go to kuch as well. What is the difference here? In all the examples we did, okay, maha koi hai. Someone is there. Darwaze ke bahar koi hai. Okay, koi nahi aa raha hai. ओके okay, और यहां कोई नहीं रहता है यू नो टिपिकली यू विल नोटिस द अंडरलाइन टोन इज इट्स यूली रेफरिंग टू अ लिविंग बीइंग ओके और एन एनिमेट एनिमेट थिंग दैट कैन ब्रीथ्स राइट वर्सेस इन इन एनिमेट ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओके सो दैट इज द डिफरेंस व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द लिविंग थिंग्स और लिविंग पीपल यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कोई when you're talking about things like objects then you will use kuch okay uh, we'll jump to that as well but i just thought to to clarify here okay any any questions before we now we will jump from koi to the the special cases of koi okay okay so let's keep going and then now i'll do the some special expression using koi so we start with koi we made some simple example now what about um um so let's say going back to the question i asked to to robin okay let's say the question is party mein party mein kaun a raha so let's have a dialogue okay so the the question is party mein kaun aa raha hai instead of robin i'm going to ask uh, steven ji okay steven ji let's say you are throwing your party this time and um, you have to just name people who are coming okay uh, well, why don't you ask me question this question um party mein kaun aa raha hai ha ah, party mein bahut log aa rahe hain party mein aniska ji aa rahi hai jackie ji aa rahi hai sunita ji aa rahi hai aur robin aa raha hai Okay. Achha. How you want to know who else is coming? Con con aa raha hai. Okay. Con uh, con aur aa raha hai. Okay, very good, right? So you said aur 
और और कौन आ रहा है ओके व्हाट डज इट मीन um who all else is coming yeah. okay so here we use or con or con or you can use it twice also or con con aa raha hai okay um you can add let's say you want to know is someone else coming is someone else coming slight difference than before how would you ask this one um hmm kya koi aur log aa raha hai so instead of koi now you would say or koi or koi or you can use it both ways so or koi or you can change it order as well or koi or okay so now you will ask this like koi or aa raha hai koi or a raha hai that's how you will ask so this is now a special expression for koi instead of koi you want you are saying koi or ya aur koi okay someone else okay um how would you say um now if you recall in the previous class you were not there but in the last class um we use emphatic particles hopefully some of you remember okay <laughs> right some of you remember okay jackie ji <laughs> what were the three emphatic particles or two emphatic particles we learned in the previous class i can give you example he was there and then there was also p he, he um, very good to okay okay awesome let's say you want to emphasize this pronoun indefinite pronoun how would you do that um koi bhi koi bhi there you go koi bhi okay so for those who didn't join the previous class it's basically we learned about emphatic particles which can be used to emphasize any parts of speech verbs adjectives adverbs and in this case pronoun okay to emphasize now let's say you you know um let's say you initially the sentence was yahan koi nahi rehta hai okay yahan koi nahi rehta hai and these are all special case by the way we have moved on from the simple use case of koi to special use case where you know or koi koi or but now jaiki ji you want to emphasize the sentence yahan koi nahi rehta hai How um, would you write the same sentence with emphasis? यहाँ कोई भी नहीं रहता है. Very good. यहाँ कोई भी नहीं रहता है. यहाँ कोई भी नहीं रहता है. Okay. Let's say again, like to this is a recap. This is not the Koi lecture now. But let's say the horror movie got even more. You know. dangerous okay and there are a lot of empty houses okay yahan koi nahi rehta hai and then you want to emphasize the other house how would you change or rewrite the sentence um yahan hi koi nahi rehta hai so it still be okay so yahan bhi koi nahi rehta hai okay so you are starting you are giving this like you know let's say you are the voice behind that movie like you know you are saying yahan ye gaon hai ओके इस गांव में ये नेबरहुड है या इस घर में कोई नहीं रहता है यहां भी कोई नहीं रहता है सो द एम्फेसिस चेंज इज राइट बिकॉज नाउ यू आर एम्फेसाइजिंग द लोकेशन या वो बिट में सो दीज आर द टू स्पेशल एक्सप्रेशंस या आफ्टर जी कुड यू ट्रांसलेट दैट सेंटेंस ऑन द बोर्ड देयर दैट फर्स्ट वन नो द सेकंड वन so yeah koi bhi nahi rehta hai it's hard to translate it but you are really emphasizing koi that no one lives here it's like that like in the indian like the way the indian facial expression oh, is no one. right that no one lives here 
like that. Think of it in this way, right? Okay. So in English, it would just translate as that only that no one lives here, but with more emphasis on no one. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, any question? Any questions, anyone? So would that be something like no one at all lives here? Yes, no one at all lives here. That's right. But like in English, you would not say no one lives here at all, right? I mean, you just simply it's implied right with the way you are speaking right so but that's right your thought process is correct there okay any other question those are all good questions yeah, teacher can you listen to me yeah i can hear you say it again i, I didn't listen to uh, at the beginning you just mentioned about going key so what it means okay yeah so so what is happening is we we did he and b in the previous class these are called emphatic article they are used to emphasize any parts of speech so let's say you write a sentence and you want to emphasize something okay uh, whether you want to emphasize here or we want to emphasize koi what you do is you put this particle after that part of speech okay um, and what I suggest is like you know um, we will someone if you can post the the link of last class video uh, either from facebook or from from youtube i think you know uh, they'll get a good idea but basically in the previous class we practiced a lot of that about the the placement of he and b in different part of the sentence okay but by putting b here you are saying that no one lives here with more emphasis okay that no one uh, lives here yeah okay got it thank you Awesome. Uh, Linda ji, all good? You're following? Give me a thumbs up if it is making sense. Yes? Awesome. Fine. We'll keep going. Uh, Ashushi, ye dono um, sentences. Uh, um, if you can, um, you know, have a conversation between two persons and the other one replies, they can probably get it a little bit better. Seen it just on the board. Um, it doesn't really show up as much of a difference, I think. But if two person they meet, they 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 talk about it, they utilize these both sentences, and the other one emphasizes it B. I think it might come across a little bit clearer. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so like for example, I think he used the sentence "Yaha koi nahi rehta hai." The other person can perhaps say "Yaha koi bhi nahi rehta hai." So the emphasis there will make it, make it a little bit clearer, I think, in yes. understanding the heat. Yes, I see. So what you're saying is when the other person is also also saying, yeah, koi bhi nahi rehta hai, it's like the, the distinction is better there. Right? Ha, sir. Okay, awesome. Thanks for, for sharing that, Asha Mila ji. Um, so we'll move on and now, um, Okay, so I think I can do this also. So, um, so just like in, you know, we have uh, oblique case. What is the oblique case for koi? Yes. What is the oblique case for koi? Case. Mitali, okay. I think someone already answered, but let's try it out. Kisi. Okay. PC. Okay, PC. Okay. Um, the oblique case uh, is basically if you have a, in, I think you know, like in, in, in many parts of speech uh, in Hindi, unlike other languages, they get, you know, uh, inflected based on like if there's some uh, compound or post position after that. Okay. So let's say the question is you want to know, you want to say something like, do you no, anyone. You want to say this thing in Hindi, and this is slightly advanced. So if you are completely beginner, don't get don't get intimidated. You want to know. Let's say the um, um, Anita ji. Let's say you want to say something. Do you know John? So this is your sentence. Do you know John? How will you ask in Hindi? Um, kya ab John ko jante hai? 
एक्चुअली उसे क्या आप जॉन को जानते हैं ओके यू गिविंग रिस्पेक्ट सो क्या आप जॉन को जानते हैं सिमिलरली डू यू नो स्टेसी इन दैट के चीज से क्या आप स्टेसी को जानते हैं ओके बट नाउ अनीता जी ऑल ऑफ अ सडन यू आर यूजिंग दिस इनडेफिनेट प्रोनाउन ओके एंड योर योर नेचुरल इंक्लिनेशन इंक्लिनेशन वुड बी नॉट जस्ट योर बट एनीवन कैन आई जस्ट पुट कोई हियर राइट but that doesn't happen because now you have a post position and because of this how would you say that kya yeah, aap kisi ko jante hain so your sentence become kya aap kisi ko jante hain so your koi changes to kisi because of this ko yeah so for beginners if you don't know what is going on here just remember that your base sentence was for this was do you know john it was kya aap john ko jante hain okay kya aap john ko jante hain but like all we did was replace john with anyone and then we were trying to put koi here so you would not say kya aap koi ko jante hain okay uh, it will become you know uh, the oblique case of koi which is kisi yeah so it's just like you know do you know the boy right so you would say you not say kya aap ladka ko jante hain you would say kya aap ladke ko jante hain right so you were using oblique case there as well okay all right any any questions on this one before we move on that was sort of the 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 thing i didn't explain before all right we we'll move on now from koi which is used as an indefinite pronoun now we'll move on to kuch okay kuch and um, kuch so just like before when you are saying something where we do not refer to any specific earlier it was person but now it's thing okay so let's say you want to say something like something anything or nothing something anything or nothing all of those you will be using kuch okay um so if you recall um i need let's say i need let's say uh, food okay or i need water anything meeta ji how would you say this in hindi um me khana chahiye so it's the because it's coming to you the food is coming to you oh mujhe mujhe khana chahiye sorry no 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 sorry it's all good so you say mujhe or mujhko food or khana chahiye okay hopefully it is clear is not too difficult so like, in hindi i is main but when you you saying this kind of sentence you know the the recipient of the food or water is you okay in that case you use ko with the pronoun okay so mujhko khana chahiye yes now instead of that let's say here you defined it i need food i need water let's say you want to say i need something i am hungry <laughs> i need something i you know you made me sit in this hindi class for a long time i want to eat something how would you say that me bhuki ho mujhe kuch chahiye so instead of mujhe food chahiye aur mujhe khana chahiye mujhe pani chahiye you said is mujhe kuch chahiye okay so this is your i need something where um the placement of kuch it refers to something and it is used as a as an indefinite sort of your pronoun okay any questions anyone here so far it's only one simple example uh, sorry can i ask a quick question yes please so so the transition from may and ko to mujhe or mujhko i don't understand 
because if you say me kana chahiye it's it sounds it sounds okay but you say it should be much much he or much ko so I don't understand why using the oblique form very good Thanks. thank you who would like to answer that nandini ji you want to take a stab at it why are we saying yes to me food is needed wanted to me food is wanted so what nandini ji saying is this is a very interesting case when you say this thing in english i need food the word to word translation you know the way it happens in in hindi is is translated as to me food is needed okay that's how it will translate one on one in hindi and to is nothing but ko okay to is the the like post position ko is your equivalent of to in in hindi okay so that's why it's like to me is main plus ko which you can say either mujh ko or mujhe either way is fine okay if you want to say i need help you say mujhe help chahiye okay i need water mujhe pani chahiye okay um i need clothes mujhe kapde chahiye okay you will not say main kapde chahiye okay it's basically the you are the recipient of you are the beneficiary of that right so that's why it's to me something is needed okay it will take some time like this one you know this one is interesting because your your immediate thought process is like why can't why can't i just do it one on one just like you know i'm doing other sentences but ko it's slightly different ko has post position ko has certain use cases right um, i hope it somewhat addresses your question though it does it does thanks right anyone else okay so the the way meeta ji did was like mujhe kuch chahiye okay let's say i am serving food and i am asking this question do you need something okay now the thing change from i need something to do you need something let's see who would like to try that one um okay sharan ji first thing was mujhe khana chahiye or mujhe kuch chahiye now you have to ask the same thing as a question which is do you need something um probably i would say kya aap kuch kya aapko kuch chahiye right so what you would do is kya aapko kuch chahiye so all you have done is change into a question instead of mujhe it's aapko because you know it's the you is used here and then because it's a question kya aapko and then kuch is already here okay as you make progress you know you can even say kuch chahiye which is basically you know let's say you came to my house and like you know i'm i'm serving you the food you had meal and then i come to you and like kuch chahiye that means like do you need anything else right um which is basically implied i don't have to say kya aapko because my tone reflects the question and because you are in front of me it's you know aapko is implied there ki aapko kuch chahiye can i yeah, also say can yeah. i also say or kuch chahiye yes you can say that and these are the special case of the kuch kya aapko aur kuch chahiye which is nothing but just like the way say aur koi you have aur kuch chahiye okay so just like something you anything else anything else i think there was one more question that was coming ashuji is there a difference between aur kuch and kuch aur it's the same thing same thing okay awesome um dilesi they he uses this example is bottle mein kuch nahi hai okay is bottle mein kuch nahi hai 
वट यू थिंक ही मीन्स देयर इस बॉटल में कुछ नहीं है ओके I'm going to put someone who has not joined before just to kind of see Sam. I know you're listening only, so I'm not going to bother you. Sorry, JDG. Okay, is bottle me? Kuch nahi hai. There's nothing in the bottle. Very good. There's nothing in this bottle. Okay. Um, okay. Um, next one, Samantha ji. I'm going to ask you, Samantha M. वह कुछ नहीं जानता है. Robin ji, you want to unmute yourself? Try it out, okay? I'm gonna write it as well for you. Uh, it may be hard, but at least give it a try. He is okay. Sorry, I think I already gave you the answer, but the 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 sentence is वह कुछ नहीं बोल रहा है. बोलता है. वह वह कुछ नहीं वह कुछ नहीं बोल रहा है. What does it mean? वह कुछ नहीं बोल रहा है और वो कुछ नहीं बोल रहा है पुलिस मैन एंड यू कॉट सम वन एंड देन यू आर आस्किंग देम bunch of questions and they are not responding the natural thing in hindi would be wo kuch nahi bol raha hai right um awesome awesome uh, so any 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 question here any question right everyone thumbs up so so okay awesome right so let's do some more so i'm going to write some expressions here which are so as i said like you know the difference here is like koi uh, is basically for living things kuch is for the objects okay not uh, living things okay now the the expressions for kuch is sab kuch sab kuch bahut bahut kuch sab kuch bahut kuch kuch aur which we just did or aur kuch ओके और कुछ और वी हैड कुछ भी कुछ भी ओके सो व्हाट इज सब कुछ एनी वन वुड लाइक टू ट्राई व्हाट इज सब कुछ एवरीथिंग वेरी गुड एवरीथिंग सब कुछ इज एवरीथिंग सिमिलरली व्हाट इज बहुत कुछ बहुत कुछ कुछ और कुछ भी कुछ भी कुछ भी चलेगा एनीथिंग and okay very good let me i think put the spotlight give me just one minute so this one is um anything at all anything at all anything at all now how do i sort of like one is i give you examples of um give me just one minute i think it keeps moving i hope you can see me in the whiteboard um i was just going to make sure that this white light spotlight remains on this one only okay so i'm going to write um um give me just one minute maybe i can highlight it for you so you guys can read it um uh, a small sort of a, give me just one minute i'm gonna i'm gonna share my screen and i'm gonna have you guys read the small thing that i initially i was gonna write it for you but uh i'm gonna ask you to
Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. Uh, and you will be okay. So this is uh, so this is a small paragraph. Hopefully you can see my screen. Uh, I'm gonna have so there's a policeman. This is John and Sarah. Okay, I'm gonna do some role play here. Um, uh, to save time, I'm gonna have uh, Robin G. You are acting like a policeman here. Um, Stephen, you are John, and Sarah is Aneska G. I wrote it in Roman Agri only. Read it out and then let's see what you guys understand from this one. Masuji, sentence one. Which one? Sentence one. Misses after Kuch. Pata. Missing, missing the verb. Kuch. Okay, sorry. Okay, I see. Okay, Kuch. Okay, let's do it. Awesome. Good job there. Vidyaji. Right, Robin. Hey, uh, Kia is accident ke bare me Kuch pata hai. Nahi, mujhe kuch pata nahi hai. Main kuch bata sakti hu. Aapor kuch bata sakti hai. In this case, Sarah, let's say Aneska ji, the assumption here is like you said X, Y, Z, multiple things about the incident. I was waiting here and I saw person he hit the so assumption is that is already done. Okay. Yes, keep going. Uh, one more time. Uh, Okay, um, okay, read it again and now try to translate line by line. You want yeah. me to do that? Okay, oh, go, go ahead. Sorry. I could do, I could do the re reading and you can do the translation if you want. Um, Kya atko is accident ke bare me kuch pata hai. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, try it out. It's okay. Robin G, you can try it out yourself. What do you think it means? Do you know? something to do with. Um, it's some accident. And yeah. The question to wait, someone. Wait, okay. wait. Were you involved in the accident or do you know about the accident? That's right. Do you know yeah. anything about this accident? Do you know um, something about Kuch Pata Hai? Okay, awesome. John? No, I don't know anything. Mujhe kuch nahi pata hai. So you use Kuch and after that you use Kuch Nahi. Aneska Ji? Um, I'm going to take a wild guess, but I'm going to say um, I'm not, I, I don't know what Pata Sakti uh, means. I'm not, not able to say. I can say something. I can tell you something. I can tell you something. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I, I can tell you something, or I guess X Y Z about. I'm That's able to it. say say something about this. Yes. So first, I think the way I wrote it was it's not a detailed one, but you're trying to say I can tell you something, and then you just keep on saying X Y Z that I saw uh -huh. you know, a scenario, okay, and then the police comes back again, and then they say. Yes, Robin. Up, up, or kuch bata sakti hai. What do you think it means? Robin? And you tell more. You tell, tell more. Tell more, yeah. Yes, that is me. Yes, sir, Raji. And then I say, Mene aapko sab kuch bata diya hai. Um, I can, um, uh, I guess uh, give you tell you something, but I, I guess batadia here means that I can tell you something about this. So it's like you told everything you cannot tell anymore. That's right. I've told you everything. I cannot tell you more. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And, then, and that's mujhe kuch nahi pata. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say iskalava. Therefore, I can't. Or mujhe aur kuch nahi pata. You can say that as well. Okay, mujhe aur kuch nahi pata hai. Okay. Any questions on this small reading part? As Arthur G, what is the iskalava? Okay. Who would like to share? Therefore, iskalava. Iskalava. Besides that. Very Besides good. that. Besides this. Besides this, iske alawa. Apart from that, what? What? Which one? 
Can you see apart from that? Right, apart from that. Both of them are correct, apart from that. Yeah, other words, there, therefore, would be Islayer instead of Islayer. So it's basically nothing but Yeha plus K alawa, and then it becomes uh, Yeha becomes an oblique case, and it becomes Iske alawa. Okay? Um, any questions here on this one? Sorry, not about this one, but I wanted to ask before, but I couldn't find the reaction reaction button on time. <laughs> uh, but about this kuch bhi and koi bhi. So in this, in this, uh, I forgot the word. But in this case, it doesn't. The bhi doesn't mean also or to or anything like that. It it, it loses this because normally it means like he also or me too, but. In these cases, it it doesn't, right? One more time. I think I, I if you say it now, in the, you're talking about this paragraph only, right? Uh, uh, no, but but because before I was not fast enough to ask a question. It, it was about the koi bhi or koi kuch bhi. Okay, so you have koi bhi versus kuch bhi. Go back to the yeah. whiteboard. Okay, so let me go yeah. back. To, okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and, and the question was just that because the usually he means like also or two. So in these cases, it loses this uh, also to meaning, right? It only emphasizes. It doesn't mean like uh, someone also or something also. So, okay. So when I say koi bhi, for example, remember with the previous example, yaha koi bhi, koi bhi nahi rehta hai. Okay. Like no one, no one lives here. Okay. You are emphasizing koi here. Okay, let's say, you know, um, let's say you, you came over and you are, you know, to our place uh, and um, you, you, you are so hungry, like, you know, and you like, Mujhe kuch chahiye. okay, and I am asking you, you know, what should I bring? Should I bring you um, like fruits and, uh, you know, apple or whatever? And you're like, kuch bhi chalega. So you first is like, you know, you said, Mujhe kuch chahiye. and then when I gave you the option, you are emphasizing, no, kuch bhi, anything, anything at all. You can bring anything right now. I'm not particular about yeah. that, right? So, so if your question is like, is it still emphasizing, am I still using it as an emphatic particle by using B? Yes, you are still using it as an emphatic particle. Yes, it's an emphatic particle, yes, but like also, because if somebody would ask me, translate someone also, then I would think like koi bhi, because bhi means also. And koi is someone, so I would probably say someone also koi bhi. But it yes. doesn't mean someone also, but it means uh, no, like anyone at all, right? So it loses the also. That's right. So meaning. I, I see your question. Can I also use it as it an also? Yeah, yeah, that was my question. Yeah. That's right. You can, <laughs> yes, yeah, you can use it as an also, also, right? Um, bhi, koi bhi, koi bhi hai, right? I mean, um, but like if I think, uh, but if, if there are more sentences, I'm sorry, I was reading the comment. Like if there are any more sentences though that you have in mind, I'm happy to 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 sort of like you know see them, yeah. Um, but with that being said, any other questions? Koi or koi or sawal kisi ka? Okay, where I use both of the the, the scenarios. Koi, koi or question. Kisi ka? Ya yeah, kisi ko koi all question and does anyone have any other question? I know we are slightly on time so I'm not trying to cover the next topic. I wanted to cover case 2 also for using koi and kuch where they are being used as an adjective. Like you know, koi das log aa rahe hai. Right? Some, some 10 people are coming but we'll cover it in the next class. Okay? Uh, but in the meantime, any other Anyone else? Okay, so what I'll do um, for folks who are watching live on, on Facebook, um, my my recommendation is like, you know, if you um, let me open up the elementary Hindi, like I'm going to share my screen. So homework exercise for you, everyone is like, and if you can, especially if you are comfortable with Dev Nagri, if you go to chapter 15, page number 135 of Richard DeLacy book, there is a paragraph where Deepak runs into Kavita outside the library on Monday. So homework exercise for you is to read it and, you know, figure out where they have koi and kuch used in a sentence. 
okay and uh, if you are not familiar with dev nagri um, if you can write uh, five sentences for both of them where they are used as uh, imperfective um, for indefinite uh, part uh, you know pronouns um, that will be great right um, so i'm going to stop the broadcast please do check the time change um, even though it's still 8 am new specific time but if the region you are in if the clock doesn't change for you you, you it may be like you know you will see that the class is one hour late for you okay so i'm going to stop the broadcast and um, we'll just take the questions from you know from from the from the group here okay so thanks so much for watching it on facebook